Currently, there's only one car company in the world that makes a structural battery pack. That is Tesla. But believe it or not, there's another car company in China which increased its electric vehicle deliveries in March by 910% and is about to release a very similar system to Tesla's structural pack. It says it is the only vehicle in the world that doesn't actually use a battery pack at all. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. the electric viking great to see you here thank you for subscribing to the channel thanks for your support over the past 11 months since we started this channel fantastic to have you now in february last year leap motor a chinese ev manufacturer delivered 628 electric cars now fast forward to october and the company delivered 3654 evs not really that many but it's a pretty good improvement over february Fast forward from October last year to March of this year, and suddenly Leap Motor had become a very serious player in the Chinese automotive industry, delivering over 10,000 EVs in March alone. If you compare that to their number in March last year, which was only 997, you can see that they've 10x their production in one year. That is formidable. And so is their new technology. Leap Motors' upcoming flagship sedan, the C01, will use C2C technology, making it the first vehicle in the world to use, to not use a separate battery pack. But to be honest, the system is actually very similar to Tesla's structural battery pack. Now, Leap Motor is one of many Chinese electric vehicle manufacturers that are bringing a huge wealth of innovation to electric vehicles as the industry rapidly changes, evolves, and moves forward. Guess what? Most of Legacy Auto, most of them, they're just watching Tesla. Most of them are watching. Whereas some of these Chinese EV companies, they're bringing out truly innovative products. Leap Motor, who filed to go public on the Hong Kong Stock Exchange last month, unveiled its C2C, or cell to chassis technology today, which integrates the battery, the chassis, and the underbody into the vehicle, saving mass, the need for a separate battery pack, and space, ultimately giving the vehicle much greater efficiency and cheaper production costs as well. Elite Motors' upcoming flagship sedan, the CO1, will use this technology, according to CNEVPost.com, who say it is the first vehicle in the world to not use a separate battery pack. Now, I think they're kind of pretending that Tesla's structural pack isn't a similar technology when really it is. The company has also announced that it will share the technology for free. In other words, they have no patents. You can copy exactly what they've done. They'll even show you how they did it. That's interesting. CNF Post says that Leap Motors technology with C2C is cutting edge and requires that Product design and manufacturing processes are simplified by redesigning the battery bearing tray so that the entire lower body chassis structure is coupled to the battery tray structure, the company said. Sounds exactly like a structural battery pack to me, but it's a different way of doing it to the way that Tesla does it. This is an innovative installation process that really shows the Tesla ethos and I think the impact that Tesla's having on the industry. Less is more. Even the company uses that as their tagline. Less is more. The same thing that we've heard Elon Musk say about parts. The best part is no part. By eliminating the battery superstructure, the technology increases the vertical space of the vehicle by 10 millimeters compared to conventional solutions. It increases the battery layout space by 14.5% and increases the amount of overall space inside of the vehicle while reducing the vehicle's weight. Now, Leap Motor is claiming that as a result, their vehicles will have improved battery insulation performance, improved battery layout, and this will increase the vehicle's range by around 10% with the help of its new thermal battery management. Leap Motor's CTC technology can improve the vehicle's torsional stiffness, 
in addition by 25%. Sounds a lot like Tesla's structural packs, doesn't it? Lightness factors by 20%. It reduces weight by 20%. And it brings better NVH, which is noise, vibration, and harshness. Another big benefit is safety. Leap Motor has conducted nearly 30 tests for the CTC design, including bottom ball striking, crushing, and heat diffusion to ensure battery safety. Based on Leap Motor's AI, BMS Big Data Intelligent Battery Management System, the company can provide users with cell-level, real-time cloud-based safety protection, it said. Now, the technology currently supports 400 kilowatt super fast charging, which is damn impressive. And with support for these technologies, the Leap Motors vehicle will achieve a range of more than 200 kilometers in a five-minute charge. I don't recommend doing that. I think that would probably damage your vehicle over time. But being able to charge 200 kilometers in five minutes, that's impressive. If you haven't heard of Leap Motor, well, you should know about them. Leap Motor was founded in 2015. It currently sells the T03 minivan, the S01 coupe, and the C11, its flagship SUV. The company delivered 43,748 EVs in 2021, an increase of 443.5% from 2020. And it is focused on mid to high end mainstream electric cars. Price between $23,637 up to $80,000 US dollars. Leap Motor plans on massively expanding its production this year. And it's aiming to double production next year versus this year. What does that mean? Who knows? It's possible Leap Motor could be delivering 30,000 plus EVs per month next year. That's insane. How is Leap Motor going to do this? Well, cash. Leap Motor is actually one of the most well-funded electric vehicle companies, startups in the world. It currently has 11.5 billion RMB in cash on hand. And it's one of the most ambitious EV startups in China. In December of 2020, its founder and chairman, Zhu Yangming, published an internal letter with an ambitious five-year plan to enter the top three new car markets to become one of the top three largest automakers in China by 2023. Is that possible? I don't know. But if it does achieve this, it would supplant Volkswagen as the third largest electric manufacturer in the world. I think it's highly likely it will, considering its pricing of its EVs, its technology, its ambitions, and its ability to scale up at rocket-like pace, which is truly staggering. Thank you for watching. Let me know in the comment section below what you think of Leap Motor. And what do you think of this new technology? I find it fascinating that car companies in China keep on copying Tesla and legacy auto pretty much keep on ignoring them. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.